that helps got... when you play low tier tournament and you main a low tier. I was surprised Port didn't go Link, but when you think about it, if you have a viable counter pick in a low tier and they're not used to seeing it, when you get to the further parts of those brackets, like you're playing people that you might actually see in the real bracket, you didn't want to throw it out. Yeah, yeah, that's a good point. And right off the start, Big Fish with a great lead. Definitely knows these combos on, on platforms. So haven't heard of Key and Port. I'm guessing that's French. Probably a Montreal player. Good old Quebec. Yeah, but uh, yeah, Big Big Fish doing a good job right now. He's uh, you know, taking the game pretty handily. He's just so he's so quick. Uh, I don't think Key and Port is really ready for these approaches. That's another thing, especially down at this level, like. You should have played Pikas, you should have played Kirby's, you should have played Falcons. I don't know that a lot of D3 people have experience with these low tiers that may make it really difficult to, if this is the first time you're seeing the matchup. Yeah. Not expecting to be a mess all up in your business. <laughs> oh, very true. Wow, big fishes. Oh, yeah. Impressive. He's going for the four stock. Like I said, he's a very technical nest. Like uh, I, I've even seen him in D2. It looks like that's he's well on his way to it. Uh, yeah, I'd say he's the heavy favorite going into this match. Ledge cancels. DJCs. And that's gotta feel good, you know, going into your first game and just being this dominant in the match. Going straight for the ledge, but yeah, clipped with the forward smash. smash. It's not over yet. Like Kirby does have really easy gimps against Ness. He's just gotta be able to get in on him. Big fish is not making it easy. Oh, oh they went flips him. 201 the time for the first match. So big fish definitely happy with that performance. Uh, he is gonna have to really think about some new approach, because that one did not work. He's going Kirby again. Yeah, he's probably a Kirby main, you know. Don't want to... That's the thing, like, if you lose a first match pretty badly, you can try and second-guess yourself, and like, maybe another character would work. But sometimes it's best to just stick with what you know. Mm -hmm. with, a, with a player like Big Fish, though, I, I just feel like the skill gap here is, a, is pretty big. It it's seems hard. pretty apparent. Yeah. This, this is the first match of the day that has been very lopsided. I mean, Tangerine and uh, Feathers Ruffled was uh, the one prior to this. That was uh, a reasonable skill gap, I would say, but this one is <laughs> yeah. pretty obvious who's better. Yeah. <laughs> so yeah, no, no more last stock game three type games going on right now. We're I wonder if Big Fish is just under maybe. I think he's a little under he, uh, he, Like I said, he performed very well last year at Gommel. Almost upset Sox, who's a... Uh, one of the better players in Toronto, mm -hmm. who unfortunately couldn't make it out to this tournament. Oh no. So, shout out to Sax. But yeah, I think uh, I think Big Fish is sort of using D3 to warm up, and then he'll be well on his way to D2. Actually, in my pool. Oh, so, fun. Uh, should be fun. Good luck. Good forward smash though. All right, so he's keeping it close. You know, shouldn't hype up Big Fish too much. He's still in this. Down air. Back to a stock lead. Okay, I'm seeing some good things from uh, Key and Porte. I think it's just a... Unfortunately, got matched up against a, uh, a better player, but... Yeah. You do well in the rest of his pool after this. Again, it might be just not having a uh, the matchup knowledge against Ness. Yeah, exactly. It could be. Uh... You don't expect to see a Ness in the bracket unless you know who Big Fish is. That was a great chain. Takes that was game a fantastic two. combo. JV three stock. Yeah, so very handily takes that game. Big 